All right. Well, after we had a sample of North America, as in North North America, we got Middle America. And uh, as you know, Cheesy, you weren't around for our little tour of the States last time, conveniently had to work. So you didn't escape it because we're cooking the US this time. We've already done Colorado. So you managed to dodge your bullet there, but we're going to be checking out what sort of stuff uh, the US have got. And Facty is pushing it. <clears throat> Facty is truly pushing it. Uh, yeah. Well, Amish communities don't have electricity anyway. So anyway. Um, I've lost it now. I'm going to claim uh, claim revenge on Facty. I'm plotting his downfall. Okay. So it's some of these weird and wonderful US laws that we did a few weeks ago due to unpopular demand. Well, me and Arduin basically decided we're going to um, check out whatever states we can get through this time. We did 20 and we do have a few to go back on. So what do you say? 30, Where are we, we, we up did to? 30. We are on, on New Mexico. What happened to old Mexico? Oh, that's right. It's old Mexico. It's still there, isn't it? Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, and, they, uh, uh, they blew the shit of out of people at the Alamo, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, instead of you guys reading along, I, I put on... Uh, I, 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 I was interviewing a couple of animals who are now old people. And, 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 and this was actually a quote from Mr. Eagle. And for those who can't read it, this is why I'm almost. I'm glad I'm almost extinct. Yeah, this is actually the the same the the, the same eagle that uh, had an altercation with 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 uh, with uh, number forty five. Um, and so so he 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 is a very knowledgeable eagle. He he he's been in politics. He had he had a political debate with a president. So. Um, that's why uh, yeah, I value his opinion. And of course, if he gets sick, does that make him an ill eagle? I just outdated the previous dad joke, by the way. So yeah, in New Mexico, <laughs> that's killed him. Yeah, I got him all down. Now I just <laughs> have it with the other one. Beautiful. Did you know that? Yeah. You, so so yeah, it, it, you completely broke me now. Uh, maybe we should just go to New Mexico. Let's go. Hey, uh, oh. Mary, uh, before we go to New Mexico, uh, did you shave? I did not. I'm French. <laughs> because oh. women are, allowed to, are not allowed to appear unshaven in public. Wow, that's racist. Why don't they just say mm. we don't welcome French women in New Mexico? You know, then rather than <laughs> saying unshaved. That just seems a bit rude. Mallory, you have got the moustache to die for. In fact, I really wish mine was that good when I had a stash. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. I use Berlin cream. And I twirl the tips. <laughs> oh, and the way you do it and the way it twirls in the moonlight. It makes me want to marry you for a sixth time, which is probably going to happen <laughs> on this tour again anyway. So, Okay, the other one too is uh, you're not allowed to pump your own gas either. Or replace a flat tire. Of that's, course, that's the bonus. Going, I know that is what you do. You live for those two things. So, <laughs> New Mexico isn't a place for you. And of course, <laughs> your pool playing career. What else we got on this one, Ardo? Should we do them all, or should we just go through the more exciting ones? Well, um, uh, minors are not allowed in the pool hall. That is probably mm -hmm. more uh, more to do with uh, gambling around pool. <laughs> And of course, the drunken fights to break out, the hitting each other with pool cues, and the general ruckus behaviour that's associated with men hitting balls with sticks, which happens a lot. So, uh, yeah, course, but, uh, but 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 in, in, in yeah, <laughs> in the Mountain View, yeah, Mountain View Cemetery, hunting is prohibited. So I don't know why, but obviously you're not allowed to go shooting things because there must be a lot of animal life in hunting Mountain View Cemetery. Okay, well, I'm sick of New Mexico. Let's get in the car. Are we in a car this time or not? Yeah. Or are we still flying in the, yeah, okay, we're we're just, in the car? Yeah, we're, we're just all over the place. But uh, I'm, I'm actually going to uh, 
I'm actually going to visit some distant relatives. Because we're going to New Amsterdam. Uh, uh, New Amsterdam State. I mean, New York State. Uh, why? New York. <laughs> why? Why? Well, oh, the, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I was I was thinking I was thinking of jumping off a building. Hang on, I'm just gonna go back. What's the York Amsterdam reference? I'm just at sea there. Uh, New, New York, York. New York uh, used to be New Amsterdam. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about York, uh, i.e. York's in England. So I had no. no idea what the correlation there. Being a non-European ge geographical. Ge no, New European York, geography person. New York used to be New Amsterdam. Uh, hence, hence, for example, Harlem in New York. Because Harlem is a town in the Netherlands. Okay. Well, ball sacks Czechoslovakia is a great town too, but that doesn't mean it's the only place you can have ball sacks. In fact, I believe there are ball sacks in virtually every city in the world, so... Okay, you'll need to give us a bit more of a history lesson on us non-Europeans, because I knew neither of those. So I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> if I had a thought bubble, there would have been just question marks for that one. Okay, back to New York. I'm going to give you a greeting my usual way. The uh, Marx Brothers method, Harp, made famous by Harpo Marx, of putting the thumb on the nose and wiggling fingers. <laughs> because, well, that, that is actually... <laughs> That's actually not allowed in New York. <laughs> I looked into this. It's the Marx Brothers. Because Marx Brothers movies were so big and it was one of Harpo's things in most of his movies, people started doing it everywhere because monkey see, monkey do, American see, American do. And that's apparently just got, I don't know, some mayor got a bit uppity about it and said, I don't want these finger wigger greetings anymore. It's making us all look like clowns. And Harpo Marx probably. Did you know play the part well? So there you go. I did some research. So one, yeah. Oh well. Topic. Wow. That's, so that is why <laughs> citizens may not greet each other by putting one thumb to the nose and wiggling the fingers. Yeah. Of course, you can flip them the bird, but you can't do that. <laughs> Fuck it out. Oh, and New Yorkers uh, flip it? each other the birds a lot of times. So banning that would be a disaster. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> okay. F middle fingers would be unemployed. Riding in an elevator, you are not to talk and you've got to fold your arms and look forward to the door. you got that elevator etiquette is important. And I suppose they've got enough buildings there, so. Uh, what else? Jumping off a building, the penalty is death. <laughs> <It's>, that one's <laughs> gone. <laughs> so, if you try and kill yourself, it'll <laughs> kill you. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking, but okay, <laughs> sure, but it, you 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 might say that, but what if I just jump off a one-story building? Well, if you got your slippers on, you got to do it before ten p.m. because you're not allowed to wear slippers after ten p.m. <laughs> and 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 you also are not allowed <laughs> to throw a ball at someone's head for fun. <laughs> For fun. Okay. So if I do it aggressively, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But then it, yes, the then it probably becomes assault, so. Yeah, I, I have the bruise to prove it. In fact, another one too, Mallory, I gave her a, a little mood ring a couple of months ago when I first uh, crossed paths with Mallory we were working. I gave this little great mood ring. And when she's in a good mood, it's in a nice blue color. And as I just found out recently, as in yesterday, when she's in a band mood, it leaves a little dent in the middle of my forehead, just above my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Mel? <laughs> anyway. Me a little end joke there. <laughs> okay. Fuck this. I'm out. I want to go to North Carolina because we're going to go visit Christmas. But we don't want to get too close to him, so we'll go to North Carolina, not South Carolina just yet. Yeah, that's exactly, because uh, we want to stay away a, a little bit from him, for now. Uh, but, uh, Boomer, just remember, uh, but the both of us, we're just not allowed to sing. <laughs> mm. But fortunately, we'll be making our money doing some elephant cotton field plowing. Apparently, no. that's a big industry. No, uh, what the fuck? elephants may not be used to plow cotton fields. Ha <laughs> ha, trumped you on that one. We're taking cocaine hippos. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's where the cocaine hippos are about. I knew I'd work them in. 
but uh, <laughs> I, uh, but yeah, um, uh, but um, I, uh, one other thing I, I really have to tell you, I, 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 I this this kind of makes me puke a little bit. But I saw you and Mallory, and uh, what you did is illegal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys see the list right now? Or no? I hope you guys can see the list. Dude, I've got a dent in my forehead still. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but anyway, it's illegal to have sex in a churchyard. Yes. Oh, and and, no. and it's, it's illegal. Not only is it illegal to have sex in a churchyard, while having sex in North Carolina, you must stay in a missionary position and have the shade spooled. So if I get what? a church and put shades all around the whole fence, can I then circumvent the first rule about the churchyard if I've got no. the shades drawn in said churchyard? No. I'm sorry. Well, I don't wanna... Damn. Damn. You just can't find the loopholes. These Americans are onto us. They see... It's like they predicted everything we're going to do and they've made laws to stop us. Conspiracy. Yeah, uh, exactly, and uh, and and also uh, a funny fun, one that I've also thought was kind of funny is that a three dollar tax must be paid on all white goods being sold. Bit racist, don't you think? <laughs> so three dollar tax on tax on your Ku Klux Klan robes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Actually, we'll we'll get those exempt. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, well. uh, let's just leave North Carolina. It's getting we, we're getting way too cl close to Christmas, and it's getting a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, all this churchyard stuff going on, and Mallory's gone very quiet, which I don't know is good or bad. I, I, it's a bit of a mystery wrapped in an enigma, surrounded by a riddle. And anyway, let's go to North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just gonna lay here and fall asleep, man. Because I'm Better not uh, have your shoes on, mister. Because that's illegal. <laughs> Which, again, is probably an anti-homeless law. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to be pervy and see anybody's toes here, but it's the law. <laughs> Interesting how you uh, tuned into the foot-related crimes here, Mary. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why would that be? <laughs> no idea. I'm just a sucker for the law in North North Dakota. Uh, yeah. Fuck, fuck the, the not the the last one, but this one. I'm I'm for it. Mm. In fact, it's North Dakota is your state because beer and pretzels can't be served at the same time because we know how messy you are with beer and pretzels. Yeah, it's, crumbs it's all over. Yeah, let, yeah. Let, let's let's just let, let's just go to to the, to the disco. Um, let me put on my uh, fancy disco hat and uh, have a dance party, man. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, I'm just, it's breaking me. You can't wear, you'll be jailed for wearing a hat while dancing. Like, it's not just a warning or, a, you know, let me off with a warning. You'll be jailed. Why or be even jailed for, wearing, for a wearing a hat to a function where dancing is taking place. This is... Obviously, persecution of the hat industry, isn't it? <clears throat> it's hatism. <laughs> well, we're not hatters. We're, in fact, mad hatters, most of us. I love my hat. I don't know about you guys. I am a hat mad person. Uh, of course, <clears throat> when we do our coal mining, what have we got to make sure, guys, if we happen to own a coal mine? To have an it? adequate supply of toilet paper for each toilet. Duh. Yeah, good to hear. You're up on the training. And of course, when you're out at the sandbox, what will I not be seeing in the sandbox, peeps? Elks. <laughs> an elk. <laughs> an elk. <laughs> good. It's sinking in. I'm glad. <laughs> you can't have an elk in your sandbox. Yeah. Now it's just How elk. Big is how big is your sandbox if you can fit an elk into it? Obviously, it's well, maybe it's a very small elk. I don't know. Very I big wonder sandbox. If that, does that include little toy ones? Maybe it's about little toy elks in your sandbox. Maybe, the, yeah, uh, maybe they're just, they're, they're just anti elk. Either way, they're, they're hatters, they're bloody well. Yeah. 
Hattest, Elkers, Deer and Pretzels, and Shewitz. Yeah, they just is there is a hateful state. Yeah, let's mm. just let's just it's go to our state. let's go to let's go to let's just go to Ohio, man. Because as we know, it's almost the fourth of July. Yeah, in and, fact, uh, I'm gonna. I'm feeling I'm like gonna... uh, like committing burglaries and uh, bank robberies. Right. Well, that's pretty good. You could do that because you can't get arrested on the fourth of July. In fact, I've got a fish friend there who I intend to go and have a few beers with because that's his birthday. So my little fish friend, if I get drunk with him, because it's illegal to get drunk with a fish, he gets fish drunk in Ohio. But if I do it on the fourth of July, you can't be arrested. On... Well, then I'm like, if that's the case, that means I could finally wear my leather shoes in public on Fourth of July. Ooh, you know. Thank you. <laughs> I love your patent leather shoes. They're almost thank as good as that wonderful mood ring that's looking nice and blue right now. Oh yeah, you're you're gonna thank use fuck. this leather shoe real quick. <laughs> oh. Okay, I I just googled how do you get a fish drunk, and there's a whole a whole new world has just opened up. To me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Google with your friend. Well, now you got me curious. Well, oh, no. apparently, uh, uh, apparently, drunk fish can convince sober fish to follow them around the tank. <laughs> what the? You're not making this up, are you? No, no, no. no uh, it's on. Uh, it's Discover magazine. Um, <laughs> they've been putting alcohol into fish water, which obviously you should never do, um, mm. because you you might kill your fish. But um, yes, intoxicated fish. Um, <laughs> they've done actual studies. <laughs> that's that's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> I've got something to do this on the is... weekend at least. <laughs> this lockdown's getting to me, so I'll watch my drunk fish. Oh, just, so... just have a, G, just have a G and T with the, with, 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 with your favourite goldfish. I could have one. I could put some in the tank. Just a little bit of gin. They've already got the tonic. Obviously, they're swimming in it. It's all good. Right. <clears throat> Cats like fish too, Mallory. So we could do some drunk fish anti Mister Pebbles uh, procedures too. We'll marry that into a elaborate hoax if we can. This is getting amazing. This okay, is, uh, I learned so much when I, when I hang out with you guys. But it's, it's just, so, Mallory, when you, just yeah, one thing, when by you the really... way, I, 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 I do have to worry. Please don't say amazing too much because that makes that, that just reminds me of Jordan Lee Peterson. Now, Mallory, I'm going to be coming over <laughs> to your place tonight where you're living with four other women. But the problem is the cab's got no seats. So I'll be riding on the roof of the cab. So are you all good with that? Oh, shame. That's illegal. Sorry. What, come riding over. on the roof of the cab or, or living five women in a house? Oh. Oh. It's illegal to live yeah. five. Why did you have to say that out loud? I was having fun with all these women in this house. Well, uh, that's what I was getting some... jealous. That's what. <laughs> does something happen when, when more than five women congregate in a house? Well, they they they, they okay. might they might start talking they might start talking about about voting rights and 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 the, wow. and the right to maturity wow. leave and that sort of thing. And you and you don't want that. You don't want that. Well, I'm trying to find out, but I keep getting arrested before I get to the windows. Apparently, something to do with them getting creeped out or whatever always happens. <laughs> Let's get out of Ohio, guys. I think I've had enough of this place. Oklahoma. Now, there's a place we could write a song or two about. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, who wants to read the first one? Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> um, so, apparently in Oklahoma, there is a law on the books that says it is illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone inside to pretend to have sex with a buffalo. So, death. <laughs> How often does that happen for you to need a law that says it's illegal? <laughs> I don't know. And of course, you don't want to be doing your hair in the same place without a license, do you, Mallory, while pretending to have sex with a buffalo? You're going to end up in jail for a long time. 
uh, women can't do their own hair without a license. You wow. can't pretend to wow. have sex. Now, here's the thing. I've got a technicality. You can't pretend to have sex with a buffalo, but you can actually have sex with a buffalo as long as you're not pretending uh, to do it. I have read. Okay, I've read a little bit further down the list. Oh um, my God. I skipped. I skipped one because um, it is illegal to have the hind legs of a farm animal <laughs> in your boots. Yes. And again, Oklahoma. If anyone in, in, from Oklahoma is in the side chat, I need to know what the hell is going on in Oklahoma because why are these laws on the books? Yeah. What? <laughs> it, is there nothing to do in the evenings in Oklahoma? Well, in the mornings, you can't read a comic while you're driving a car. But, of course, oral sex is a misdemeanor and punishable by one year in jail or a $2,000, $500 fine. Wow. That's not a misdemeanor. That's a crime. Like a, That's pretty serious, a yeah. year in jail. It's, it's, it's pretty severe. Um, to be fair, though, uh, I, 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 I picked Oklahoma just because. But... Um, there are actually actually uh, multiple states where oral sex sex is officially still illegal. Um, however, these laws are uh, unenforceable due to a, a 2003 Supreme Court ruling. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's a the thing. There's, it's actually in, in, I actually came across multiple states where it was illegal. It was actually like kind of weird. Well. Bible Belt or or other than, okay, I'm getting scared. Bible Belt states, yes, pr pretty much, uh, pretty much a lot of red states uh, from what I can uh, remember about America. Yeah, I, I somehow feel we're getting chased across the border with banjo music in the background and people shaking their fists and pitchforks and flaming torches. Okay, so let's get out. I reckon Oregon's the place. Gonna the Oregon is the place we're gonna be. Yes, where one may not test the physical endurance while driving a car on the highway. And of course, if your baby is testing their physical endurance by being on the running boards of your car, that's a double whammy. Oh, fuck, this is getting unbelievable, these laws, aren't they? Who's in for the next one? No, I'm too stoned. Okay. I don't well, even know what state them. we are anymore. We're Oregon. Oregon. Great. Because it's illegal to buy or sell marijuana in Oregon, but it's legal to smoke it on your own property. But here's the good thing about it. Dishes must be allowed to drip dry. Is there any other way to dry dishes? That's all I've ever known. <laughs> yeah, that's how I dry my dishes. <laughs> yeah. Just does that make dishwashers illegal in uh, in Oregon then? Maybe. Well, they no, may, not the washing part, maybe the drying part. Dish dryers are illegal. <laughs> but dishwashers dry oh, them as well. Oh, no, dishwashers! No, oh yeah, no, no. Okay, oh dishwashers. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm, I thought you were the person being. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Dishwashers might be illegal. Yeah. Mm. Wow. And of course, as we know, just to keep the place nice and clean, you can you can't buy or sell dope, but you can smoke it on your property. But all five bedroom homes will be evacuated to search by police for drug substances every two months. God, what the, actually Oregon? I do believe has a bit of a problem though with uh, some of the more insidious substances. So that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. That was two thousand they brought that in. I can I can imagine being like, oh, you know what? Let's 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 make let's make our house four bedrooms. Let's let let's let's make the let's make one of the bedrooms uh, like like an extra bathroom or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> five bedroom homes. So we we're probably looking for uh, meth labs. But anyway, let's leave it at that. Of course, let's go to my favorite Pennsylvania because it sort of sounds like Transylvania. The city where, so where, 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 is, this, is this the state where the 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 the, the where Big has their pen factory? No, it's pencils only. Oh, pencils only. Okay. Mm. In fact, yeah, the biro. Okay, a sad story. The man who invented the biro. We'll do that on another show. Okay. Well. <laughs> 
I've got me stock of cannons, guns, revolvers and explosive weapons for the wedding that Mallory and I are now having again because the, the mood ring is now saying you're um, approachable. <laughs> so what do you think, Mallory? Do you want to discharge guess. the gun? Then? Do you want to discharge the gun, the revolver, the cannon or the explosive? What are you up for? The explosive. Yay. But that's oh, that's that's oh. called, that's good. that is not allowed in Pennsylvania. Oh come on! I was getting all excited. Nice, nice, just mm. nice. So, so a shot, a shot, a shotgun law is a shotgun wedding is gonna be a, a bit interesting because you you just know that 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 he might have a shotgun with him, but he can't shoot you. Hmm. And you know those 15 women you'd invited to your uh, wedding to be in the house after it, Mel? Yeah. Uh, it's a big no-no. It is illegal to have <laughs> over 16 women in the house together because that constitutes a brothel. Of course, when you see my house cleaning style, that also constitutes a brothel too because there appears to have been a struggle. But anyway, in Pennsylvania, it's even worse if you've got 16 women stacked around the place. God, oh. 16 women. Who's ever been in somewhere like that? And survive to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 uh, that, that they did that, that they didn't start like a civil war amongst themselves is kind of wow. Well, I'm 16 women in the house. It's either death by snooze or death by just I don't know. Uh, yeah, upsetting everyone. <laughs> it's easily I don't know. You just can't survive that situation. So, okay, and of course. Uh, when it comes to dueling, because we all love dueling so much, yes. none of us can become a governor in the same state. Isn't that sad? We can't. Our political life will die in Pennsylvania. Yeah. But of course, you won't get out of the 16 house brothel anyway, so that's probably a, a moot point. Uh, and uh, you may not catch a fist by any body part, body part except the mouth. So you, you're you not allowed to like grab the fish by the tail and, uh, you know... Slap it again, real hard against a rock and, and to, to try and catch it, or uh, you know, uh, grab it, grab it by the body with your mouth or something like that. So illegal. Yeah, no, that's what I had a picture of. You know, to catch a fish by mouth, except by mouth. I had this picture that you got to dive at the fish and bite it to get it. I kind of misread the rule. It was just <laughs> a bit ambiguous, and I was researched at the time. But anyway, so yeah, you can catch it with your hands and your feet, but not your mouth. That's what I was thinking. Anyone else for, ready for the next one? We're going to be celebrating the 4th of July in that other state where you can get away with things. Anyone want well, to touch this one? It's uh, uh, Yes. Uh, I want to buy some fireworks. And we are in luck. Because fireworks stores in Pennsylvania may not sell fireworks to, to Pennsylvania residents. But we're not Pennsylvania residents. So we can buy fireworks in Pennsylvania. Mm, we're just not going to open a firework shop because it's going to be a loser. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> like, I have... The, the, the dude where, where I bought the firework was like, wait, I, I I have customers? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this was a front for drugs. Now I'm going to actually move off to see if I've got a fucking... A Catherine wheel at the back. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I, may, I may have one firecracker. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll have to see if I got a cracker. Okay, well, it's a cracker. Uh, unlike this fucking state. So let's head on to Rhode Island. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that's, that's the, we're on to the road to Rhode Island. Past the pickles. Yes. <laughs> as long as we don't throw them at a the, at the trolley, then we're fine because it's a, considered an offense to throw, a, to throw pickle juice on a trolley. Yeah, this one's a bit of a weirdy, so I'll, we'll give the professional sports one because that's kind of, you got to have a license to play on a Sunday, kind of boring. But riding a horse over a public highway for the purpose of racing or testing the speed of the horse is illegal. What's that one in Canada, Not Miss Not Canadian Mallory? Uh, what's the horsey one you brought up last uh, time when you did Weird Canada Laws? Oh, on Sundays, you were not allowed to drag a, a dead horse throughout the street. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to keep your horse dragging, dead horse dragging fetish to Mondays to Saturdays only. Yes. Wow. What makes, what happened? Were people dragging horses around while people were going to church? And, 
oh my god that's disgusting dragging horses around do you drag horses yourself or are you just more a enthusiast well i don't do it on sundays so yeah oh obviously i gotta keep it on wednesdays afternoon <laughs> right, that's when you do your horse drag yeah cool okay must must come and watch that on i the i i, I the, 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 not dragging a horse on a sunday i really have to think about that lo about that long and hard while smoking my pipe staring at the sunset a a a mm. not your pipe mister anything but the pipe you cannot smoke the pipe after sunset in newport in, in newport well okay l luckily i'm not in newport but <laughs> Well, then you're fine. Funnily enough, I grew up in a suburb in Melbourne called Newport, and one of the things I did a hell of a lot after sunset was smoke a pipe. But that's a very different story at a very different time. We'll leave that for another place. And of course, I've got to go and brush my teeth because Mallory's fucking been nagging me about it for several years now. Uh, but I need to get a toothbrush and toothpaste. So how am I going to go there? Oh, well. It's not. It's Wednesday, so you're in luck because in province you may, you may not sell toothpaste and a toothbrush to the same customer on a Sunday, and it's not a Sunday. So, what about if I went to two different shops? <clears throat> Could I buy the toothbrush at one shop and buy the toothpaste at another shop? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, Ronald. I found a loophole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. uh, I think we need to. I think we're gonna close it off with the next one, because uh, we we're gonna go to uh, to to Christmas place. Uh, I hope I hope he has a, 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 a yeah. I hope he has some beer for us, and uh, we're gonna have a drink with him. So, considering if we got through here without serving time in jail, which I seriously doubt. Um, what things do we need to take note of before we go and visit Christmas in? <laughs> in South Carolina, because singing out a tune in North Carolina is against the law. And why have you just marked that? Are, you, are we jumping? If a man promises to marry an unmarried woman, the marriage must take place. Yes. Wow. Well, Mallory, I think I've got you on a technicality, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but 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 here, here's the thing, Mario. You can defend yourself with a missile, as long as you have a permit, because a permit must be obtained to fire a missile. And how, and even though it's probably unlikely that you get a, a, a permit to fire a missile, it is wow. possible. Doesn't matter because the marriage is still going to take place, and that mood ring is definitely not blue right now. But I tell it you what, I am going to let you know about the missile. If you try to get that permit for that missile, I shall be taking you to the courthouse steps on a Sunday for purposes of beating my wife, which is allowed. It is perfectly legal to beat your wife on courthouse steps on a Sunday. So, young lady, think your next moves very carefully. <laughs> Bring, bring the cameras. We're about to have a showdown on the courthouse steps on Sundays. Oh, oh, oh. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, I'm very let, afraid. Let, 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 let me quickly, let me quickly run to the let me quickly run to the store and buy an electric guitar to to play some some battle music on the background. But wait, I'm it's... scared. Oh, it's, you can't it's, oh, uh, that's a it's, shame, oh, wait, Arlen. It's Sunday. Oh fuck. I can't buy it. <laughs> Musical instruments oh. may not be sold on a Sunday. Damn. That would have been a nice show. Yeah. Damn, Arlen. Alright, on that one. Charisma, you're back in South Carolina. Is that a good place to be? This anti-musical instrument, gotta marry people, you can't play a pinball machine unless you're 18 years old, which is probably the gambling laws because there was a whole lot of stuff about pinball machines being... No, 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 you're reading, you're, reading it, you're reading it wrong again. You must be 18 years old. So when you're when you're not 18 yet, you're not allowed to play it anymore. Not, not to play it. But as soon as you're 19, you're also not allowed to play it anymore. Oh, okay. You must be 18 wow. years old. <laughs> mm, okay. So South Carolina is not the place to be. And that leaves us with 10 states to go for our next installment, which will probably be in a few weeks' time, I guess. So 
I don't know about you, but uh, how's our crime rate and how's our time rate? We're going pretty well, aren't we? We're going pretty well, yes. It's um, I'm, I'm, and I'm having fun, so that's cool too. You have just watched an outtake of the Something for Nothing livestream. If you want to see the full show, you can follow the link in the description below. If you like what we got, please click the subscribe button and tickle that little bell. And of course, give us a like. See you next time.